I use things which are in my day-to-day -day life or how I live my life. About people I love and what they do or things I dream about and memories. In a lot of ways, I feel like I am from two deserts. Um, there are similarities between the cultures in the way people are generous at heart. some drawings I can show you. I made this after visiting an island off of Kuwait and seeing the ancient Greek and Dilmun ruins and thought I'd feel closer to ancestors in that way. When I learned the Lucha Libre were making masks in Mexico instead of wrestling, My dad and the upside down palm trees were revolving around an old golf song about wondering if people still remember you. And other things like stories about other people who I'm not related to, like Federico Garcia Lorca and making art in times of fascism or wrestling my own thoughts like the old Persian miniatures. or my grandmother, who at the time seemed very modern to have smoked cigarettes. <laughs> and other stories, again, revolving around my dad, who I miss very much, and wanting to be a photographer and looking closely at the negatives. I'm just usually talking about what I know and what I've lived, and it becomes sort of an identity issue, I suppose. I still have very deep connections to Kuwait. My mom lives there now. I have very fond memories of my childhood there and I go back every summer. Um, one thing we would often do is eat watermelon after lunch. Family afternoons last into the night. It's loud, the food's good and people take naps while you're sitting with them and nobody leaves. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to explore the stigma of identity. You acknowledge who you are and you like being who you are, but some people don't agree or they, they find reasons to tell you why you're not the story which you're presenting. Being stateless means you're born without any recognition from a sovereign nation. In my personal case, my mom is a citizen and my father wasn't. So I was born stateless like him, although they were both from the same communities of Southwestern Iranians who migrated into the Arab Gulf. I use a lot of imagery or things I see around Albuquerque or stories of friends and their families to to show that I'm also home here, that, I, that I'm embraced here, that I become a person who feels like they're from here. A fellow artist at the Harwood Art Center came to my studio one day and asked if I wanted some pears. So my friend, Eric Romero, we went downstairs, he climbed the tree and started chucking pears down and I suppose that's what it feels like to feel welcomed. <laughs> when I immigrated here as a child, my I was lucky to be in a public school where educators told me I, I should be proud of my language and my culture. I've made so many good friends here who are so different than me culturally, yet tell me things like, you're one of us. An acquaintance I met, a musician named Noah Martinez, who played the guitar on, and I read an article about him, um, and he had mentioned that he likes to walk from Albuquerque to Chimayo, 
to feel closer to his ancestors. And I obviously resonated with that in a lot of ways. Like you feel so extracted that you try to hold on to whatever you can to feel closer to your family or who you are. I keep creating art because it helps me connect to these larger ideas and feelings. Thank you.